Hi, I'm Alan Weiss. I'm here to talk to you about Common Sense Consulting and my Common Sense Consulting Weekly. This is a foreshadowing, a presage of what the program is going to be like. Now, this one is informal. I'm here in my den, casually done. I got my little uh, easel behind me here. Uh, you'll see these in a somewhat more formalized version, but they're going to be five minutes for a pittance, for five bucks a week. Uh, there'll be 50 of them. If you sign up quickly, it's only $200. Otherwise, it's $250. Still a bargain, a buck a day, come on. And I am going to show you in just a five-minute video every week how you can reduce your labor intensity, increase your fees, and be a more effective consultant. Veterans have said to me, how do I reduce my labor intensity? How do I get out of these models and matrices? I'll show you how. Newer people have said, how can I hit consulting streets quickly? How can I hit them with speed, hit the street running? I'm going to show you how. Why, how, where? Common sense. Now, take a look at this. That's the type of equation that a lot of consultants use to solve problems and to make headway in a client. It takes forever. No one can understand it, but it's equal to that. So I'll give you an example right now to show you what you're going to get for every five minutes in every week over the next 50 weeks. If you want to assess risk with any client, under any conditions, strategically, tactically, you just look at two factors, probability and seriousness. Risk equals probability plus seriousness minus the preventive and contingent actions. Now I've got about three and a half minutes here, and I'm going to explain what I mean in that three and a half minutes. Risk only has two factors. Risk has probability, the probability of an event occurring, and seriousness, the severity or impact if it does occur. Those are the two components of risk. And so with the probability, if you want to try to reduce the overall risk, you try to reduce the probability of something happening, but you also want to mitigate the seriousness if it does occur so you can live with it. So you have preventive actions and you have contingent actions. This is how you assess risk and how you mitigate risk. It's one of the two ways to look at risk. The other way to look at risk, which is very important, I'll be speaking about during the course of the program, little teaser there. But in terms of probability and seriousness, I just made a uh, sound effect. In terms of probability and seriousness, what we're talking about is this. Uh, if I were to go out in the winter on an icy, stormy day, the probability of my slipping on the ice on a scale of, of 1 to 10 is probably 9. I'm pretty clumsy. There are hills here. I tend to slip a lot. The seriousness uh, is probably a, a 1. Uh, and that's because I, I might skin my knee, but I'm heavily dressed. I have boots on, heavy garments. I, I don't hurt myself. I don't fall on my head. Uh, in an airplane, the probability of a plane crashing is infinitesimal. If you look at the statistics, you know, it's not a 1. It's 1 100,000th. Uh, but the seriousness is about a 7 million. So probability and seriousness are two different things. Uh, with the airplanes, they try to reduce the probability by having redundant systems uh, and uh, careful maintenance checks and so forth. The contingent actions, of course, are the flight attendant telling you in the unlikely event of a water landing, put this on, do this, and try not to run over me on your way to the door. Uh, in terms of the ice outside, uh, the preventive action uh, is maybe to wait until the driveway is plowed or have heaters that clear the steps uh, or um, uh, perhaps clear it myself. But the contingent action is to make sure that I'm dressed heavily, uh, that um, I have first aid uh, uh, equipment if I need it, and so on. In any consulting environment, one of the two main dimensions in looking at risk is looking at probability and seriousness. And what you want to do is ask the client, what's the probability of this risk occurring? And if there is a probability, do we want to live with it because it is so small, or do we want to try to do something formal to prevent it? And what's the seriousness if this does occur? If it's so minor that it would just be a hiccup and we can accommodate it, do nothing, spend no money. But if it could be serious, how do we mitigate it? In areas of high risk, that is high probability, high seriousness, if there are no preventive and contingent actions, we want to stay away. Most people talk about risk as though it's an ambiguous entity that we have to be aware of. But when we break it down this way, it's something quite different. And of the two, probability and seriousness, seriousness is always the most important. That's where the impact is. If something's guaranteed to happen but it's not serious, it doesn't matter. I've used up my five minutes with both the commercial and my tip. I hope you'll join me. 
go to my website under workshops, look for un look for common sense consulting weekly, sign up, sign up before August 31st, it's only two hundred dollars, and you will get a tip like this every week. You can add to your consulting bag, add to your consulting kit, you'll be more of an expert than ever, and you'll find that as these grow, you'll be able to charge more and more and work less and less because my tips are designed to do things quickly and easily. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll join me. We're starting Labor Day week. I thought that would be appropriate. I hope to see you on my series. Ciao.